Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would show you guys how I started my morning on this particular day. And yes, it gets you every time. And I actually just learned how to empty our tanks during this little adventure we're on. I had never pulled one of these levers before and now I'm like a pro at it. So there is a positive to this. But now we're going to head back inside. This trailer is a disaster. Like... I can't even, I feel like I always say that. I really do always say it because it really is always true. But we just live so fast and now we live so fast in such a small area that everything just kind of explodes and nobody is good at picking up after themselves, me included. So I guess I'm not really setting a good example and maybe that's where my problem is. But I missed you guys so much last week. I had like a sinus thing going on and as soon as my sinuses act up, my voice goes. So I finally have my voice back and I am ready to chat. So let's go ahead and start cleaning up in here and then I will jump back on in a little bit and just give you a big old life update. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason why I should ever let you go. Mm. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up, no, I don't wanna wake up. Don't wanna wake up without you. I 100% meant to iron my husband's work shirts that you're about to see and I ended up hanging them up in the closet and then I filmed this on a Saturday at my sister's wedding which was gorgeous by the way was the following day and I'm pretty sure he ended up wearing those clothes to work the following week and he never mentioned anything about being wrinkled so yeah he definitely went to work wearing them. definitely getting my use out of this vacuum. I am so glad I decided to bring it. I almost just brought my little battery LG vacuum and I am so glad I brought this thing. I use this multiple times a day between the dog hair, the dog food, and the constant snacks on the floor. I vacuum probably two or three times a day and that is why I have my socks and slippers thing going on because I was so sick of stepping on dog food. I think we're actually getting ready to switch up their dog food. Maybe Luna will stop leaving the little pebbles behind when she like picks up her dog food and carries it to a different area and then drops it. She is dropping mostly one type of the dog food, so at least we have this little, little, little slice of cleanliness right here, and we are going to move on to this catch-all area. This is where everything stays that I don't have room for, so we're going to go with it. We're going to get it all cleaned up, and then we will come back with a disinfecting wipe to get it all nice and clean. <laughs> Yes. 
I don't think I would have made it this far in this camper without this vacuum, my disinfecting wipes, and the pink stuff. They have been the ones I've reached for the most, and up until this morning, I did not have a mop in here. When we packed our garage, everything went directly into the moving truck, and I totally forgot to grab the mop that I had already put the pads for in the camper. So I have two mop heads and no mop. I have been using just disinfecting wipes and I was so excited to finally get to do a real mop. Well, not real real because it's a spray mop, but still we will end up coming back out here and using the O Cedar spray mop to clean the floors out here again. I thought while I was catching up on the never-ending cycle of dishes that we could catch up on life. I would love to know how everyone's summer is going. Have you done anything fun? I know for us, summer is flying by. Like scary, scary flying by. I'm doing this voiceover on Wednesday, July 13th. And next week is our last full week in the camper here in Florida. So it has definitely flown by and I'm excited for the next part of our journey, but I am so, so nervous. I spent the morning today calling doctor's offices, trying to get records printed, records moved, um, the dog's vets. Like I have made so many appointments in the last two days that it's crazy. I'm going to have a very busy, busy, busy week next week, but we are so excited. It looks like our entire family pretty much, except my brother. My brother's not going to be able to make it up, but it looks like most of my family is actually going to be going up all at the same time, so it'll be super fun to have everyone up there. We'll get to celebrate my nephew's 15th birthday up there all together, so it'll definitely be a good time. Madison, my oldest, turns 10 on the 23rd, so I have been busy prepping for her birthday party. She's going to have a big birthday party with her friends one last time down here, so it has just been a crazy, crazy few weeks, and I don't think it's going to calm down anytime soon, so I would love to know what fun things you guys have got to do this summer. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to, we got nothing to lose You're looking so old, you're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you I have rearranged this little cart so many times since I started using it as extra storage and our little island and this I actually really like, but I have, I have to admit, since I've filmed this, I have changed the top again. That is the biggest part about doing this and living in this small of a space is you constantly have to be changing things. You constantly have to be doing what works best for your family. 
and it takes a lot of tries to get it right. There's definitely not a one size fits all on this adventure at all. Tell me what you want to do. Baby, let me love you. Is it just me or do you all have an area of your home that you are putting off having to tackle? This is that area for me. I have been putting this off for so long and right now I'm just going to go through these Barbies and pick which ones to keep in the shower for Mackenzie. Each time she takes a shower she brings more Barbies in with her so at the end of the week there's like... 15 Barbies on the shower floor. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below if you too have an area that you have just been dreading having to clean. Hopefully today's video will give you the motivation to go ahead and just knock it out. That way we can enjoy our weekend without this stuff hanging over our heads. This stuff gets taken in and out of the shower on a daily basis. Somebody will go and take a shower, they'll put it out in the living room, I'll trip over it for a few hours and then I'll throw it right back into the shower. This brush has been sitting in my shower since I cleaned my sister's carpets along with another piece that's also in my shower. I wasn't successful at cleaning this piece today so it did end up going back in. I have since then got this brush super clean so it is now back with the carpet cleaning machine. It feels so good to check things off of my to-do list. I just don't know why it takes me so long to get to them. Some of the stuff in here was repurposed in other areas of the camper. Some things were donated and some things went to storage. And that is the little tray that we keep under our dog's food and that desperately needed to be washed. I just kept putting it off like everything else. Let me know if you end up tackling one of your dreaded areas in your home. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving.
This would have been the perfect afternoon to just be cuddled up on the couch with a good book. But no, I'm pulling this out of a shower drain. And I'm so glad I got this done. It really needed to be done. I had no idea that was in there, obviously. By the look on my face, I was a little surprised. I really am glad I just went ahead and knocked it out, though, because this bathroom needed some good TLC. I don't think I've actually filmed cleaning this bathroom for my channel yet. And as you can see, it really, really, really needed it. And this is one of my struggles. I struggle with this all the time. You know how you'll get on social media and all of these things will say, the dust can wait, this can wait, that can wait. And it's like, it can definitely wait, but it's just going to pile up. It's just going to end up being more work for me. So it's like, when do you find the equal balance of, yeah, just sit down, relax, or no, this really needs to be done. I think I'm really struggling with that and the time that I spend editing videos. I love, love, love making videos. I love filming. I love editing. Editing is really my creative outlet, but at what point are you like, okay, 20 hours is a little too much to be editing a video, and going into it, I had no idea that there was so much time involved with the editing process, so I think in the season of life I'm in right now, I'm just having a really hard time juggling my time so I don't know I'm sure it's not just me I'm sure we all feel like that I'm sure everyone has a million things going on in their lives and you don't know where to put what time at so just know you're not alone we're all struggling and we will all get through it together maybe I was blind you forever while I tried to find someone that could be my great love right in front of me I didn't realize you were my dream so you took me by surprise oh yeah I mentioned I'm like living off of my vacuum cleaner, disinfecting wipes, and the pink stuff. And this is just another one of those, oh my gosh, the pink stuff saved the day. And you'll have to stick around because it happens again. We've had these little scuff marks in the bottom of the sink. I'm sure it's from stuff falling out of the medicine cabinet and scuffing the sink up. And the pink stuff took the scuff marks right off. I have been living with these scuff marks for years and they just came off in a few seconds. But make sure to stick around because we are going to go ahead and clean the toilet. And the pink stuff ends up saving the day again.
I don't think my sweet little three-year-old realized I had the camera recording because I had it set like in front of the doorway and she kept walking by to get to the bunk room. And I think she was pretty annoyed that I was leaving the door wide open. Right now we're going to go ahead and just clean up the things that need to stay in the shower. And yes, I took care of that basket with the brushes. I'm going to go ahead and fill up this little cup that the toilet bowl brush goes in. I usually use Clorox wands and I will definitely be using those when we have our house built, but I don't think it'd be safe for the holding tank. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. I've had it hanging out under my sink for way too long. I read the directions multiple times. I even took the package out of the garbage at one point to read it again. And it said to let the little pack completely dissolve and then brush the toilet and I'm not sure if the brush was maybe too abrasive but I ended up with purple scuff marks all over the toilet as soon as I flushed it and she just thought the purple water was the coolest thing on the planet I did not think it was so cool once I realized I had scuffed the toilet up on the bright side though it definitely could have been worse I mean I like purple and all but I don't know if I want my toilet purple so we're gonna take some pink stuff and we're gonna try and scrub the toilet clean Oh, look at that. See, you need pink stuff. I'm not gonna tell you very often that you need a cleaning product, but this you need. This you need. I'm going out way tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why, no, it's so surreal Think I want you here Oh, 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 oh I don't ask for much, no, I don't need that much, yeah Hey, what you doing, girlfriend? You're playing yeah. with the dogs? Yeah. Why? Almost looks like she has a bowl of cereal, but it's dog food. <laughs> That's gross. So much. No, I don't need that much. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and finish mopping up in this main living area. Well, really, Mackenzie ends up mopping. I forgot how hard it is to mop with her at my feet. She gets mad at me that I wouldn't let her mop because I was trying to hurry up and finish. So I just ended up giving her the mop. But I did clean the kids' bunk room. But the girls were both in the back with me and Mackenzie had like a wand she was pretending to say bibbidi bobbidi boo with. So when I put it in like a time lapse, all you saw was this wand. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with the before and afters of the kids bunk room. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you got the motivation you were looking for when you landed upon my video. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Thank you so much for spending time with me. You have no idea how much I mean it. I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Dancing in a storm, burning everything we know, drizzling out.
up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your store. Or I'm looking like a breeze, but really you're a forest fire. You got me feeling uncomplicated. What? That's how it's done.